Hello, everybody. It's the Particular here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. In the last episode, we took a trip to the Grand Canyon, something my dad has been dreaming about doing for years. Uh, not really. We went to Great Canyon to go visit Zatu at the Hill of the Ancients and find out more about our becoming of Pokemon because, uh, remember, this is this is our Isekai story. Uh, we didn't really find out that much, except that we may be connected to all the natural disasters that have been happening lately. And in this episode, well, we got more business to attend to as a rescue team, so... Let me actually go go grab our buddy Akavashi. I know, I swear, I bring him along every time. He's just my favorite. I like I like Farfetch, and I can't believe he's actually like salvageable team member. Oh, we got a ton of TMs last time. I forgot about that. So yeah, that's what friend areas look like, by the way. I don't think I've ever showed them when they had like multiple Pokemon in them. But let's go ahead and head into town. Huh? What are they chatting about? Yeah, I, I'm kind of shocked. I always thought I was only a legend. But could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. H Hi, what's happening? Well, you know the Ninetales legend, that old story? The Ninetales legend? What's that? What, you don't know? You know, it's that old fairy tale. Hell, you look cursed if you ever grabbed one of Ninetales' tales. All oh, this time, everyone thought it was just a legend. But I think it's been rumored that maybe it really happened. Well, it is just a mere, a mere rumor. I wouldn't put too much stock into that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors of that sort. If you want to know more about the Ninetales legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Whiskash. He knows the story well. Whiskash is, uh, you know, in his pond. You should visit him if you want to know more. Yes, we have visited Whiskash a few times, uh, but what I'm actually going to do first so we're gonna take care of a few rescue missions. I'm gonna go manage my inventory, stuff like that. One facade TM. Wait, don't I have? No, I do not have facade TM. Okay, I thought I had one. I was like, huh? Oh, green gummy. Okay, you know what? We're, um, I don't know why I'm showing this on screen. I don't know, future me, go kick past me for doing this. I, <laughs> I just wanted. To oh dear me, you ran out of space. Okay, yeah, sure. Well, just go sell the Attractium. This thing sucks anyway. I know, I'm taking up so much time. I'm so sorry, future me, having you do more editing. Well, actually, you do less editing work. Okay, it's haunt TM, never mind. Okay, I will meet you after rescue missions and also inventory management and doing stuff. I guess I don't have Maki to Dojo, uh, Dojo stuff to do anymore since I finished all of them, but... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. One other thing I wanted to show off is something that I actually realized, uh, well not realized, I actually found out from a Zaz Glitch video, uh, the Zaz Glitch on YouTube, very very good, uh, Pokemon Glitch Hunter makes a lot of really cool videos about Gen 1 and Gen 2 glitches mostly, um, is that, uh, one thing they actually touched on in one of the, in a interesting observation episode about, uh, Mr. Dunnan, is that if you hold B, uh, you will not auto pick up items when you go across them, this includes gold, and if you have gold on the ground, and you switch uh, with another item, you can actually have gold in your inventory, and you can see it, it has an info thing and everything. Um, it Other than that, it functions like a normal item. I can, like, you can throw it. Uh, wow, he actually took a damage from that. Okay, I didn't know that because in the, in the video that showed it off, um, the Pokemon just, like, picked it up. But, uh, yeah, you can actually just have it in your inventory, which is kind of weird. Wait, don't I ever have Yonma? No, I don't. I'll take that. Crap, I have to name Yonma. Oh, wow. Okay. Ice Beam is an incredible move for anybody who's played the main series Pokemon games, you know this. Classic combo being like Volt Beam, give a Pokemon Thunderbolt and Ice Beam, because it, it's going to cover pretty much every type in the game, I think. And, uh, it is a really, really freaking good move. Uh, it only has 8 PP in Mystery Dungeon, which is kind of a problem. It's really expensive. I almost want to pick this up. I'm gonna check and see. I don't think Mudkip can learn Ice Beam. Um... It can learn Ice Beam. Okay. Uh, it has 95 power, 100% accuracy. It's a really, really good move. And, um, I've been kind of waiting for Mudkip to get a really good move. So I think I'm just, you know what, screw it. I'm going to literally blow all my money. I have all the friend areas bought that I can buy for right now. 
I think it's time to splurge on a TM. This will actually be the first TM that we've used in this game. No, I don't wish to purchase anything else. I don't have any more money. Uh, but it's a really, really freaking good move. It could be a really good closer for boss fights, uh, things like that. Anything that will increase PP, I'm definitely going to throw on this move. But uh, Skipper's going to learn it. We're going to replace Growl because it kind of sucks. Well, yeah, we're going to replace Growl. Tackle still has its uses. I want to keep Mudslap linked. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep that for Ice Beam. And uh, TMs, as you can see, uh, whenever you use one, I don't remember if we've done this earlier, I think this is legitimately the first TM we've ever used. Um, it retains knowledge of what TM it was, and you can restore it uh, by using the move or cycle, but it cannot be put into storage. I'm guessing it was a Game Boy Advance limitation of they didn't have the memory to store what TM it was for whatever reason. Um, we don't have any Pokemon with Recycle on our team, and I believe they only sell for one Pokemon dollar. Yes, so... A whopping one Pokemon dollar. If you do have a Pokemon with Recycle, though, it's gonna be really useful. Uh, we don't now. The only Pokemon that I can think of off the top of my head that actually learns Recycle is the Slowpoke family. Uh, because there's a pretty infamous infinite battle technique in competitive battling using a Slow King. Uh, where you use Recycle, Lepa Berries, and Heal Pulse. Uh, yeah, that's the only one I can think of. And uh, other than that, I don't know. I'll probably get one later just because reusing TMs would be really, really, really helpful. Plus, I think you could just resell them if you did it like that. Uh, but I'm still going to go take care of a few more rescue missions. And then we'll be off to visit with Cash like we were told. So done with all our rescuing and teaming and missioning and going and saving and delivering items and doing a mission that I thought that I failed because I had to find an apple on a floor and it didn't give me any indication on whether it happened, but afterwards just like, oh, you did it right. Well, we are on our way to go visit Wishcash. I don't know why I'm walking a diamond shape like this, but we're on our way to go visit Wishcash. Ho ho ho, you wish to hear me tell old folklore? What was that? You wish to hear the Ninetales legend. Oh, fine then. Let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Ninetales. Now, Ninetales had many tales, all of them imbued with psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tail would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone so foolish as to grab a tail, and it was a human. A human? Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human, and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between human and Pokemon. Okay, but humans, aren't there good humans and bad ones too? Correct. Taking pity on Gardevoir, Ninetales asked the human this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir? it asked. But the human had already abandoned Gardevoir and fled. Ninetales became disillusioned with the human, and it made this prediction. That human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. Th what? A human turned into a Pokemon? And when the human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that is how the legend ends. Well, did you find it interesting? Aha! You found it so interesting you had a loss for words! <laughs> There's no need to wear such a serious expression. Certainly some rumors say that the legend may actually be true. But it is only ancient folklore, nothing more. If you feel the urge to hear my tail gun, come see me. <laughs> well, that is not good news to hear. That we... It kind of aligns with what we heard before. Kind of disheartening to hear that you may have been put under a thousand year curse. Let's go back to Pokemon Square. Oh, they're just telling us about Wishcash. Oh my god, Wishcash. Well, let's go back home, I guess. Say, Skipper, wanna call it a day now? I can't seem to get motivated today. I'm sorry for wanting to go home before we're done, but I just can't seem to get motivated. I guess it's because I heard that story. <laughs> I'll go home and try to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Skipper, sorry. I started doubting you a little, Skipper, but I'm not gonna worry anymore. I believe in you, Skipper. 
because you're a friend like no other, Skipper. You're a friend like I'd never get again. Okay, Skipper, let's do our best tomorrow, like always. Again? It's that dream again. I always see this silhouette. Who could it be? Oh? It's saying something, but I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but I'll try talking to it. Hello? Please tell me, you... who are you? I am... I am Gardevoir. G gardevoir I'm so glad, finally. I finally got to meet you. Finally met me? You knew me from before? What about me? I am your... Uh, wait! Just a little longer. I want to know more. No, it, it's fading. What a strange dream. It's a dream I always have, but it was clearer than it was before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. Th that's it! Gardevoir! It was Gardevoir! Yesterday, Wishcash said... Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a curse of a thousand years. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why wouldn't that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between human and Pokemon. Maybe... Maybe I... Maybe I was the human who was Gardevoir's partner. Maybe I was the one that abandoned Gardevoir when she was cursed. Maybe that's why I turned into a Pokemon. And we go back to our eternally happy music after dramatic scenes like that. Oh, this game knows how to do a mood whiplash. Morning, Skipper! Oh? You look pale. Something the matter? Well, anyway, as always, let's try and do our best! Oh, yeah. When I was on the way here, I think there was a commotion at Pokemon Square. I wonder if something happened. Well... We ought to go check it out. It's our team... We still have Hakubashi on our team, I forgot that I had him right here. Huh? The town's atmosphere feels different somehow. Maybe something's happened. Skipper, let's check it out. Look, why is everyone gathered together? Hi, wh what's going on? Let me tell you, I was amazed. It really was true. What was true? Th the Ninetales legend. I never believed the rumors, so you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Skipper, Sparky. Oh, hi, Caterpie. Even you came out, Caterpie. Yes. Shh. Quiet. That guy there's telling us. Keep it down. Huh? Who's talking? It. It's. D Gengar. So he went up to the Hill of the Ancients. And that's where I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell you. <laughs> shocking stuff? This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. That Pokemon, it looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this! It was originally a human! Wh what? It really existed. A human that turned into a Pokemon. There's more. Zatu told the human. That's how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. That's exactly like the Ninetales legend. <laughs> Don't be too shocked. There's more. You all know how there's been many natural disasters, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance isn't restored soon, the unthinkable will happen to the world. That's what Zatu said. <laughs> what? 
the world. The unthinkable is going to happen. What are we to do? That Gengar, he's deliberately working everyone up. Now, now, people. There's no need to panic. Why, I think there's a way we can do something about this. <laughs> no, what can we do? Oh, it's quite simple, actually. If the world's balance is upset by a human becoming a Pokemon, then if that human is gone, then everything should have returned to normal, correct? Th that's true. When you put it that way, maybe you're right. <laughs> and that human is the rotten coward that abandoned Gardevoir, correct? I don't think the human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Skipper? The, what? Wh what? It, it can't be! You? You were that human? Is that true? Hey! No, wait! Th this is like, there's a good explanation for- We're not asking you, we're asking Skipper! Hey, Skipper, so what is it? Are you really human that was in the legend? Well, you really don't have much of an option here. I'm not exactly a liar of a mudkip. Skipper. Skipper. <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense, Skipper. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of Skipper and regain peace. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Everyone, what's gotten into you? What are you gonna do? Skipper, forgive me. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh, Skipper, run! Serves them right. <laughs> oh, that was a real shock. I never expected everyone to attack us like that. But listen, Skipper. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? You should have said you're not the human that appears in the Legend of Ninetales. Again, I'm not much of a liar of a mudkip. Huh? What is it? Well, if I was really in this circumstance, I would not blame Sparky for, uh, wanting to maybe do this, so. Wanna end the team? What's the matter? What makes you say that all of a sudden? Give up on our rescue team? It's not like you to say that, Skipper. Is something the matter? I'm jumping at you. Huh? You had a dream? And Gardevoir appeared in it? And that made you think that maybe you were that human after all? So that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen, Skipper. Did your dream make you remember what you were like as a human being? Since it didn't, you don't know what really happened. I... I have faith in you, Skipper, you know that? So... Uh, oh! After that scene in Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting on what we must do to save the world. And we arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're, you're kidding! I was incredulous too. I had hoped that it would not come to this, but it is unfortunate. We will defeat you with all our might. We're fighting here? We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase and attack you without hesitation. And not just you. Anyone that goes with Skipper will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for us too. We will join the hunt to be rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. 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 And survive. You must run till you uncover the truth. Alakazam. There will be no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. Skipper. In their own way, Alexam's team has faith in you too. Didn't I say this before? I'm not going to worry anymore. Whatever happens, I'll always have faith in you, Skipper. Even if we're attacked by other rescue teams, I won't be scared. What good will it do if you don't believe in yourself, Skipper? Skipper. Caterpie. Skipper, I made a promise, remember? that we would make a rescue team base here. That I would join your rescue team when I grew up. Skipper, don't give up. You're a hero to me, Skipper. I believe in you too, Skipper. So, what do you say, Skipper? I'm over it. No giving up. Yeah, that's right. That's more like it. That's what we expect from our Skipper. We'll have to leave for the time being. 
But at least be sure to come back. And will you bring the truth back with us? Morning, Skipper. It's early, but of course you'd be up by now. Are you ready to leave? Well... It's hard to pack up your bags and just leave the life that you've always known, but we've done it once before, we can do it again. All set. Yep, looks like we're ready. From now on, we're fugitives. This is going to be a dangerous trip. I don't want to get our team members involved. Let's not tell them. We'll just leave by ourselves. We have to get away from the rescue team sending us. We have to get away at all costs. Yes, we have to escape. Like Alakazam said that time. Against all odds, you must run. Run, run, and survive. You must run till you uncover the truth. Yes, who am I? Till I discover that truth, I have to run and survive. Even if it means going to the edge of this world. Okay, let's get going. Skipper. Caterbee and Metapod too! Oh, and even Jump Bluff. Wow, I'm glad we made it. We wanted to see you off, Skipper. M me too. As always, popping up the most mysterious of ways. Good morning, it's me, Diglett. I wanted to send you off too. Everyone. And even my favorite member, the mailman. Member of our fan club. It's a letter, Skipper. Can you read it? Yes, I've read all these before, Sparky. I know how to read. Skipper began reading the letter. The entirely necessary text. Take care. It's farewell, but only for now. Until the day I can deliver mail to you again, I'll always be waiting. The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper. This along with the music is gonna make me cry, guys. You don't want that on a video. Even Pelipper. Everyone, thank you. The other Pokemon will be waking up soon. You have to go, hurry! Yep. Skipper, let's go, hit the road. Take care. We'll be waiting for you both of you to return. Yep, thank you. We'll be back, that's for sure. Take care until then. Thus begins Skipper's cruel and arduous journey as a fugitive over forbidden mountains. Wow, aren't these fishers amazing? Across fields of fire. The environment is out of control here too. Forest fire is still raging. But throughout it all, Skipper's team kept their heads held high. Without a complaint, they marched on. 